on the shore. Go check out some of the action. Ed Molly's uh, Irish Pub, riding away with Dave. Yeah, <laughs> reporting live on the scene, Erie, Pennsylvania, roaring the shore, and you can see bikes, bikers, and babes. There's probably some beer somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> not from this country, but oh, you're not from the, yeah, you're not from this country, but you love it. Oh yes. Yeah, I'm, can I'm from Canada. Canada, it's all right. Yeah. Everybody's welcome in this country. You don't even need a green card. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm working. I'm working here for just one month. Oh, yeah. You like it, huh? I'm in love with your yeah. country. Guys, you are terrific. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Americans are very friendly people, and here in Pennsylvania, they more than friendly. Yeah. More than friendly. Yeah. And you know, I just I'm got a French Canadian, but you are more than friendly. Okay, yeah. Well, that's good. That's what I like to hear. I'm in love with you. We, we, got, we got a uh, friendly French Canadian. What's your name? Francois. Francois. Okay. Francois. You, you, you know, you're riding away with Dave. Yeah. Riding away with Dave. Go ahead, you can say it. Yeah, right away for a day. Yeah, right away for a day. Right away for a day. Right away for a day. Ah, <laughs> Thank you, Francois. Okay, cool. Okay, there you go.
All right, I know you're off the clock, Robbie. Okay. Good to see you, man. How you doing, buddy? What all you got going on this weekend? We're here in Erie, Pennsylvania, roar to the shore. Uh, you had a big day so far today, but what all you got going on? I got a lot going on. I'm 48 years old. My dad was 37 when he quit. Yeah, I know. I'm 48, and I'm still jumping the distance of 30 cars. Yeah, and I'm going to go back that. and try and jump the Harley over 16 double-decker buses where my dad missed on 13 in England. And then I'm going to go back to the Snake River Canyon, so I'm not quitting. I'm doing a lot of deals with uh, Harley and my own bike company. And, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm doing a lot, so I'm, uh, I haven't quit. You know, when people start teeter-tottering, at 40 years old, they're done, most athletes, Yeah, you know? Well, well you, you look Keith, like Keith Richards keeps smoking and jumping or playing the guitar. Yeah, well, what else? For is... a decade. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, you know, you, you, you talked about topping a lot of records, and uh, I've been really excited to follow what you're doing because what you're planning on doing, man, that would really set an all-time mark that I don't think would ever be broken or anything. Uh, what's the exact schedule? Is it all in in stone? What you got set up with the uh, the big jump over in England, then yeah. and Snake Rivers? The, all set the schedule is where I jump is yeah. what people like. And uh, my dad always said, when the truck drivers quit shaking your hand, the girls quit kissing you, the kids quit asking you for an autograph, and the dogs quit barking at you, you're in a lot of trouble in our business. Yes. I love people, and I'm gonna open my sports bar and museum one day. Might be in the south off 95, I'm thinking, okay. and uh, between South Carolina and Georgia. And I'm just going to continue to keep the name Knievel the most famous on two wheels. But I want to go back and stuff myself in that little contraption called the Sky Cycle because nobody's ever been back there. I'm kind of stuck in the woods. Yeah. Been 35 years. My dad never went back. Nobody ever went back. I'm going back. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, that'd be, uh, that'd be something that, that'd be making headlines for who knows how long. And so, now, I mean, how close are you on that? I mean, do you have people working on a, a new design or whatever, or what would the deal be? It's, we're not NASA. We don't have billions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's going to cost me a million just to do a test shot and another shot, my shot. And my dad didn't pull the chute. He didn't have a dream for years, one in Latin, on a nice soft spot on the other side. I mean, he had that dream. Why would he want to pull the chute? So people were on acid or something them days. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's like uh, every day goes on. We live our life. We would like to do what our fathers did, yeah. and that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm Good. doing what I like to do, and I don't care what people think. I just know I have a big following. Yeah. And the most people that believe are the people that are right. Yeah. Well, I know I know how popular. I mean, I see it firsthand everywhere I go, and I always hear people talking about you. And everybody always wants to know what you're up to and stuff. Looks like you're in really good shape, man. You are you been on a training course or something, or is it just living a good life, having a few drinks and a few smokes, and hanging around with some pretty women? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm happily single. I know that, but I, I have a driver too. His name's Jack. <laughs> I gotta wake him up every time I get in the bus. Okay. But I'm just living my life and living yeah. it the way I should, and I don't purposely get screwed up anymore like I did in the '80s. And, yeah. And uh, I'm living my life. I'm like I'm an entertainer. Yeah. I I have to deal with a lot of friends and a lot of people across the country, and I'm lucky I have them. And I'm lucky I had my father. I can't fill his shoes, but he was the best. He was the first. Yeah. And he still holds the number one rated show in the history of wide world of sports. Yeah. And I'm going to fulfill his dream and my dream. So, you know, that's all I'm doing. Good. Hey, are you going out to Sturgis this year? You know, that's right around the block. You got any immediate plans in the next month or so or what? Yeah, I might go to Sturgis. I usually go there every year. I'm yeah. not sure, you know, so. I know how popular I you might, are out uh, there. You know, it's just Knievel everywhere you go is, is really good. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing. You know, you get people, you fire them up. Every bar, every restaurant I went into when my dad walked in, it was like electricity flowed through oh, the walls. Yeah. And, uh, right. you know, I, I might have half the nuts my dad had or family jewels, but I'm still electrifying and I'm carrying on the name. So. Good. Well, it's good to see you. And, you know, I've got you on my site a couple different times doing some little intros and stuff. You, you remember the riding the wave down to Daytona Beach and stuff? Ride the wave. How could I forget? Me and Grizzly Adams. 
Ride the wave. Oh, we hung out in Daytona forever. I mean, Daytona, everybody's changing the laws. They took all our freedom away. We need freedom. That's why we wear the red, white, and blue. The V, the freedom. It's for freedom. That's why our troops are the true heroes. That's Freedom. That's, that's right. it. That's right. Knock it off. It's evil and Robbie and the troops. <laughs> right.